Hi there. Today we're going to be graphing parabolas using all of the transformations. Before we start, do you remember what the standard step pattern is? Write down the beginning of the standard step pattern here. You should get 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, it just continues with the odd numbers. If there is no stretch, compression, or reflection, which basically means if there is no A value, then your standard step pattern would still apply. So here's an example which has all of the letters, the A, the H, and the K. Take a second, and I want you to, in these spaces here, determine what the A, the H, and the K value are based on this equation here. So pause the video, fill these in. You don't have to fill in this part yet. Just fill these in and then come back to the video to check your answer. Okay, this is what you should have gotten for A, H, and K. As a reminder, A is the number in front of the X or in front of the bracket. That's your A value. So your A is negative two. The H is the number that is being subtracted from the x. Remember that it's being subtracted from the x. So if it looks like a subtraction, your h is actually a positive number. If this was a plus sign, what you're doing is actually subtracting a negative number and your h would be negative. Your k value is 4 because that is the number that is being added at the end of the equation. What we're going to now do is to state the transformations. So one thing that you have to remember is for the a value the negative is separate from the 2 because what the negative does is reflect. So the negative part is a reflection over the x-axis. The 2 part, because it's bigger than 1, is a vertical stretch. And it vertically stretches by a factor of 2, which means all of your steps are going to stretch or be multiplied by 2. The H is your shifting left or right. Because H is actually positive, even though it reads X minus H, this is a shift to the right. Three units. And the K is your shift up or down. So since it's plus K, or plus four in this case, it is going to be a shift up four units. So that is stating the transformations. In question B, you are asked to state some of the properties. In here, determine the vertex. So what you want to remember is the vertex is made up of the H value and the K value because your vertex of your parent function is at zero, zero and it has been shifted H units either left or right and K units up or down so that's where your vertex is going to be. So since your H is equal to 3 and your K is equal to 4 your vertex is going to be at 3 4. So let's plot that vertex because that's always the first thing you want to do. Right there, there's the vertex. Now the value of a is negative 2. What you want to remember is that your parent step pattern is always multiplied by the a value. 
So 2 times 1, 2 times 3, 2 times 5, etc. Your new step pattern is negative 2, negative 6, negative 10, negative 14, and negative 18. These steps are made from this vertex. So it is up to you whether you want to draw the steps, but from the vertex we're going to go over 1, down 2, and that is going to give us our next point. Then you're going to go over 1, down 6, and that is going to give you your next point. And then you would go over 1, down 10, if it fit, but it doesn't. And it's going to be symmetrical on the other side. So over 1, down 2, over 1, down 6, over 1, down 10, but it doesn't fit. So make sure your vertex is curved and not pointy. Make sure your parabola passes through all the points. And make sure that that looks like it's going to get down to a 10. Forgive me that I've got a bit of a shaky hand syndrome. It's kind of hard to draw these with the tablet. What we're mostly looking for is that you've plotted the points properly. Your parabola is going through all the points and your vertex is curved and not pointy. So we wouldn't take off marks for the shaky hand syndrome, but that's what your parabola should look like. Make sure your parabola goes all the way to the edge of the grid. So remember that the axis of symmetry is the vertical line that passes through the vertex of the parabola. So your axis of symmetry is at x equals 3. Vertical lines always start with x equals and it's 3 because that's where it crosses the x-axis. So this is your axis of symmetry x equals 3. The direction of opening is down because if this was like a bowl it would be open down. Now your textbook will ask for some ask questions about what are the values that x may take. Because this line continues and continues and continues and continues forever and ever and ever, and this line continues forever and ever and ever, and this keeps going to the left, and this keeps going to the right, technically any value of x can be represented on this parabola. Basically, you could substitute any value of x into this equation and get a y value. So in this equation we would say the domain is equal to x e r. The r stands for real numbers and real numbers are positives, negatives, whole numbers, integers, fractions, any kind of number that you could plot on a number line. This symbol right here means contained in. So your x values are contained in the set of real numbers. All that is basically saying is that any value of x could produce a value of y. That's just a short way of saying that. For the range, it's the values that y may take. That's where you have to look at the fact that here we have a maximum at 4. So our parabola does not go up any higher than 4. So that means our y values have to be less than or equal to 4. So when the book asks for this, 
the domain will always be xer, which means any value of x could be substituted in to produce a y, and the values that y may take is called the range, and it depends on whether you, your vertex is a maximum or a minimum. So if there's any questions about anything on this page, I want you to make note of it over in the margin so that you can ask your teacher the next day. So we'll do some practice. I'll do one more with you and then I'll let you do some practice. So in this here, because this is x plus 1, it's actually x minus negative 1. So your h value is negative 1. Your k value is negative 2. And your vertex is at negative 1, negative 2. Your a value is equal to 3. So we will have a vertical stretch by a factor of 3. Your h value is negative 1, so we will shift left 1, and your k value is negative 2, so we will shift down 2. First thing, plot the vertex, negative 1, negative 2. Second thing, multiply your steps, your steps of 1, 3, 5, 7 will be multiplied by 3. So that will give 3, 9, 15, etc. So from our vertex, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 9. Doesn't fit. It would be up here if it did fit. Same on the other side, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 9, it would be about there. And do your best to graph it. Again, make sure your vertex is rounded, make sure it goes through every point, and make sure that it goes to the edge of the grid. Your axis of symmetry. You don't always have to graph the axis of symmetry, but the axis of symmetry is at x equals 1. Your direction of opening is up. Your domain, x, e, r. Again, that means that x can be any number. And your y value, because we have a minimum at negative 1, your range is y is greater than or equal to negative 1. So pause the video, try the other three examples, press play afterwards to check your answer. Okay, I only have about a minute and a half left in this tape, so at any point in time just pause to go over the answers. But here's the first part of the second question, so there's the reflections. There's the graph, and there's the answers at the bottom. For the third and fourth, you can check the reflections, or sorry, the transformations, and the graphs, and the values at the bottom. So any of this you don't understand, just make a note of it in the margin and ask your teacher the next day of class. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed graphing parabolas as much as I did. Bye-bye.